I'll be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Man, we blessed. I got, I got a, I got a nugget I want to cover with you. Sunday made okay. it more solid for the day. I was sitting there and said, Lord, uh, I was talking to my mama about it, you know, and I also tried to share with some people uh, in the in the uh, in my office area or in the mm -hmm. building I work in, right? You know, I said, Hey man, I got, I got something I want to talk about it. I want to see what you think about it, right? <laughs> uh, Brother Addis, uh, Elder Johnson was on the phone. He uh, he he uh, pulled off because his his son called and he didn't. He said son no and doesn't call. Yeah. So, uh, he wanted to call him back, so he he was driving home. He got out early. And yeah. He's now probably talking to him. You know, we you know just pray that everything is all right. All right. Amen. Uh, hey, but but with you since you're here, we got we said with two or three gathered in His name. When we gather in the name of Jesus, I'm saying we gather in the name of Jesus, and I think you're in agreement. Amen. Amen. Oh yeah, definitely. definitely. So, so we 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 gonna believe in the presence of the Holy Spirit to be in the middle of us, in the midst of us. If we get into what I think He wanted to talk to me about today, Amen. Okay. And and, right. I, and we open to what God may be saying to you. Okay. Amen. All right. Amen. That's we always do. That's I think that's the benefit of our format is that we it's discussing the scriptures and see where the Holy Spirit may take us. So I'm going to pray real quick. Dear Father, thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come to worship and praise your holy name. You say when two or three are God in your name, you've been in the midst of them. Heavenly Father, we invite you to see the present Holy Spirit to be in the midst of us. We're not physically together, but we are connected electronically, and you're in the midst of the electronic that's going on right now. And we pray that what we study today or uh, this night will be a blessing to somebody as we put it out there for somebody to get more solid than ever been before. Father, we ask you to move us out of the way and let the Holy Spirit have his way. We thank you, Father, that we are now being our hearts open to receive and the leading and the guide of the Holy Spirit. Minister to us, mentor us, teach us, guide us into your word. I thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, man. Amen. 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 Brother Allison, this is you got this has gotta be just a blessing for the day. Just for me. Now, and I pray it be a blessing for you and everybody that's gonna listen. All right. The title is check this out. And, and to make sure when I do tell you the title, it's not to say that this is not how people are. It's just to, to remind people of who they are and how they're supposed to live. Some of the scriptures going to put in there said that, you know, the just shall live by faith. Mm -hmm. live, I, live to me means just like I, the, the human being must live by water and food daily. Right? Mm -hmm. Well, I had the title there. Daily faith in God, in Jesus Christ, the, the Son, and in the Holy Spirit. But I put the word daily in there because I wanted to throw in there the fact is that, see, we live by faith. We live daily in faith. And we're not talking so much more of just the, uh, the future. Because, you know, we, the title, the subject for faith is, faith is the subject of things hoped for, the mm -hmm. evidence of things not seen. Sometimes, at least for me, and that's why they kind of hit me today, was sometimes I'm looking at faith as sometimes targeting further out, you know, and, which is fine, right? I mean, I, I may be going through something and, and I may not get through it today, but I, I know I'm gonna get through it because he's gonna be with me to get through. Through, you know what I mean? And it may take mm -hmm. a week, may take a month, may take a year. But faith is visualizing on getting out of that circumstance into a, a, something that I'm hoping for. Okay? Well, daily faith, though, is saying today. Because tomorrow is not promised. I think you, you know, that's what the scripture says, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Promise. 
Hey, hallelujah. So, what as we walk this walk and talk this talk, we need to make sure we're doing that on a daily basis. Just the day, getting through the day, right? Because things happen, could happen to you today. Your, mm -hmm. your last day on earth. But the thing is, you're having faith that no, with long life will he satisfy me, right? And, and the cell phone, so my faith is, I'm going to make it through the day. And I'm going to be, hey, bro, I, I hope you brought the sun doing all right. Yeah, he's doing good. He's just taking it. It's 120 years. We're going for 120. 120? Yeah, I only live 120 years. I, I figured that time probably really quick. Amen. Amen. Hey, look. Well, that 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 was my my belief, but I might want to just lay down and go to sleep before then. I, Amen. But, okay. hey, 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 but what we're talking about, I want you to know the, before you, because you, know, you and I didn't get a chance to tell you what the, my the, what I felt the leading for me today uh, that I felt was a blessing that I wanted to share. The title is called "Daily Faith in God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit." And, and I was, as w when you came in, I was trying to say is that, you know, the Bible says that just to live by faith. The Bible says in Hebrews 11, 1, that now faith is the substance that is hopeful and it is a faith in me. Sometimes for me, that sometimes it's projecting further out. It's, it may be projecting for tomorrow, next week, next year, next month. It is, it's faith is now, but I may be visualizing or have a vision of something that I'm aiming for in the future. You know, and the Bible said that people are destroyed because they don't have a vision. Well, that so therefore there's, there's the outlook of future. Knowing though is that tomorrow is not promised, that we should also not only just have a faith into things we're looking for in the future, but also daily faith. Daily faith to get through the day. Like right now, Elder has made it through most of the day. He's been coughing today, so we pray that with the stripes of Jesus Christ, he's healed. But, but the thing is, we don't know when tomorrow will come or not because we don't know. But we do know we have the day. You know what I'm saying, brother? When you wake up, wake up in the morning, it is the day he has given you. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, if we just to live by faith, therefore we just to live daily, correct? Daily by faith. And daily by faith is to say that God will never leave me nor forsake me today. Because I got to wake up this morning and it's just an opportunity to be a blessing to somebody, to be a blessing to my family, to glorify God today. With the intent that I plan to do that tomorrow, but tomorrow's not promised. But I want to have faith in the substance of things hoped for, of making it through the day, being a blessing today. And any situation I come up on, I'm going to take it on by faith, right? In other words, if I want to be able to talk to God on my decisions that I make today, I want to sit there and inquire of God of any crisis that comes up with me today. I, I want to be hear the word of God because faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. I want to be led because the Bible says those are led by the spirit of God are called the children of God. So I'm supposed to be led daily. Is that right? I should be led daily. Amen. And I'm so, so, so when I'm so more than a conqueror, I'm conquering because that's what the word says. That I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I should motivate myself. If I don't have nobody else in my belief in he's with me, then I can praise him with or without somebody. I can stir up myself, right? Because I'm having an understanding that he's with me. Because there's people that get depressed. There's ministers who kill themselves. You deserve quite a few. Huh? quite a few yeah there's, there's ministers that kill themselves there's con church members that kill themselves and you ask yourself yeah. okay how did they get into 
that hopelessness. You know what I mean? Yep. So, 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 but, 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 but in this thought of saying, and we want to be able to sort of somebody listen to this study as we go through it and talk about it and then get your points of view on it, is for somebody to listen to this and say, look, daily, live by faith. What does that mean? And that's what I want to talk about too, Brother Addison is, what does that mean to live by faith daily? Because I already understand is you want to talk about faith and the things, some things hope for, but the question is, is it a hope that also consists of that day? To include those things I'm projecting and working for for tomorrow. And I give the example about that is like, if I'm going to get my master degree, well, you know, I'm gonna have faith God is gonna get me through the courses to get there, but it's, it's gonna be a two year course, right? It depends on the curriculum, how long that course may be, but I'm having believing God is gonna get me there. Somebody wanna own a home. You know, I mean, unless you have cash to pay for the house right away, you, you, you believe in by faith that he giving you the resources to get to that point of owning that house. You you believe in they get to that faith of paying for that car. So those are so in other words, there's the living by faith for the things that will be for tomorrow, even though it's not promised. But I want to talk about for a person to live by faith every day and to have that faith to get it through the day. To be able to wake up in the morning or wake up at night, depending on what time their schedule may be. But to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I pray this morning because I want you to give me this day, right? That's what that, that Lord's prayer is, right? Our Father, which I never holler be thy name, back me. Thy will be done. What? On earth as it is in heaven. Give us what? This day. Huh? He ain't talking about tomorrow's not promised. Yesterday is gone, but the day is the day he wants to give you because for you to be able to ask him, it is for today. So I wanted to put that title in there saying daily, daily faith to help us as we deal with our long-term faith, short-term faith, daily faith, right? That's where I'm coming from is to have that because that I think that puts a mindset in people to say elder daily faith daily means i walk by faith and god doing something on my behalf it's so you and i think that one script there's one saying that says is hope is like an expectation of something good is going to happen <laughs> Right? That, that, that's what we're looking for. Sunday so you see, I said, brother, I don't know what good is going to happen except for what I may hope for, but I'm hoping that daily faith. Right? I like it when even Brother Adams was talking because like when he had that cold, he was saying that in the name of Jesus, this is, this, this is the last time. Huh? This is the last time I'm going to sneeze. I, I'm going to hold out by faith. I'm going to declare it's <laughs> that's a daily faith because you don't have to worry about sneezing every day it was that day and that was my nose i need to blow my nose everybody <laughs> <laughs> my nose was running and, and i was tired of blowing it uh-huh and and i sat there and i was like i'm a child of god i'm a child of god and if the bible says as he is so am i in this world Come on. I just can't imagine Jesus blowing his nose. <laughs> so I'm like, hold up now. <laughs> That's working your faith, right? That's exercise. Yeah. But see, but but in, in my mind, Pastor, the the just shall live by faith is everyday faith. I mean, when do we not live? Exactly. Exactly. So so also Crack it, crack it. You know, the, the, there's so many scriptures on this. You know, you go from faith to faith. And, yeah. Uh, the Bible talks about what faith is and how to get faith. Uh huh. So in my mind, you can replace the word faith with God's word. 
Yes. For the just shall live by God's word. God's word daily. Because that's where faith comes from. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And the sense of things hoped for uh -huh. is God's word. Come on. Uh -huh. Right. The evidence of things not seen is God's word. Right. So in my mind, my hope is that God's word manifests in my life. My life, right. And me living from faith to faith uh -huh. is me living from God's word to God's word. Yes, so sir. as situations and circumstances come into my life. In your life. And as I perfect myself. Perfect. Come on now. Come on. Excellent. Then the faith for that is there. Yes. And if I'm perfecting it, Come then on. I am walking that thing out. I'm living that thing out. Yes. I am proclaiming uh -huh. that thing. Uh, uh, and that thing is God's word. Yes, I am manifesting God's word my life. My life. Because if God says I'm a king and a priest. Yes, sir. I believe. Yes, sir. I'm a king and a priest. Okay. In my heart. Uh-huh. I believe unto that righteousness, yes, that right standing. Come on now. Come on. And with my mouth. Yes. I confess it. Okay. Which is no different than God speaking. Yes, sir. This world to exist, this physical world. Yes, I speak life yes. to myself through my spirit. Yes, sir. So I I appropriate yes, sir. what God has already placed into my spirit. Come on now. Come on now. So by me speaking God's word and believing those things that what I say. Yes, sir. Come on now. They shall come to pass. Yes, sir. Because the Bible also says, uh -huh. I believe it's in 1 Corinthians 6, 17, glory to God, that me and my Father are one. I want. Yes, sir. And if we are one, come on then now. when I speak uh -huh. according to his word, yes, sir. then he is faithful to his word. He's faithful. He hearkens unto his word. Yes. Yes, sir. So this is what, Pastor, what I've actually been working. I'm trying to stir this up in my spirit. Yes, sir. Uh, this is really, I've been really dealing with this, is walking in the power and the authority that God has play, already placed. Yes, sir. In me. In you, right. And, and in doing so, I've learned that I don't speak to this natural world to uh -huh. manifest God's work. Yes. I speak to the spiritual reign. Yeah. Right, right. To manifest God's will and his word in this physical reign. Yes. So like I was talking with Elder, if there's something attacking me, Yes. And like with my nose, when I said, I'm not blowing my nose no more today. Uh-huh. By you Jesus Christ, I am healed. Yes, sir. And if I am healed, I'm healed. And I proclaim that. Nose, you do what you're supposed to do as God intended it in the authority given to me. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. In the name of I Jesus. I proclaim it to be so. Yes, sir. And like I said before, my nose began to run like it never <laughs> ran before. Yeah, it's gonna chop. I mean, it, it, I, and, but you know what? I didn't blow my nose. Okay. I just kept wiping it. Uh -huh. And I kept holding on to that. Yes, sir. I, I'm not blowing my nose. My nose is, <laughs> is exactly as God intended it to be. And you know, the Holy Spirit said, because I asked, but I said, why won't my nose stop running? Right, right. And the Holy Spirit said, because it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Yes, uh -huh. The Holy Spirit said, you need to speak to what's attacking yeah. your nose because your nose is fighting what's attacking you. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. so when I spoke, yeah. according to whatever demonic force that was coming at me, 
Yes, sir. That was causing my nose to run. Come on. I said, get behind me in the name of Jesus. You have no authority to operate in my body. I brought you cease in Jesus' name. And I can't tell you when my nose cleared up, but it did clear up. Amen. You know, I don't know if it was instant. I can't, can't remember. But I don't ever remember having to blow my nose or run my nose or put uh, toilet tissue in my nose because it was just running. Right. It just cleared up because uh -huh. I took authority uh -huh. of the spiritual reign. Yes, sir. Because the enemy comes to attack you through the spiritual realm. Exactly. You, and then the yeah. thing about it, and then the whole purpose of the Old Testament scripture, and I like David for this example, what you just said is, David spoke to that mountain, Goliath, but that mountain spoke back to him. Yeah. But that didn't matter. And that same thing, you know, like the, the, the we speak to something, but it, it, we, it may challenge us. But oh, we're yeah, it's going to speak back. Uh-huh. Cause it's going to speak back. I don't care what it is. If it's any trial, tribulation, yeah. anything that's rising up in your life. Come on now. They have a voice. <laughs> they really do. Because yeah. if, 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 if you if god forbid you're 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 attacked with sickness it's speaking to you it's speaking to you. <laughs> like it. and if you and if you speak god's word over it it's speaking back by saying no you're sick yeah and you're like no i'm not uh -huh. this is an attack on myself yes i don't receive this you must go in jesus yeah. name yeah and, and that's something that i'm i'm realizing you, you don't have to accept what this world is bringing to you yes, that is of the devil. Come on now. Jesus went about healing all those who were oppressed of the devil. He did. Yeah. So hey, every every person who was maimed, blind, you know, uh, sick, all that stuff was of the devil. And if it was, it is. It is, right. And, and he, if he gave us authority, he gave us the same authority that he has right. and said, greater work shall we do, then that stuff has to cease, especially in my life or in any of the people that I love Come on, according to their faith. Because when I, I speak it, I expect. Right. I have an expectation of God's word to operate in the spiritual realm and manifest a physical result. Exactly. And don't, don't forget that Jesus, just to get people who's listening, that tree, when he went to that tree looking for a fig, mm -hmm. the tree answered him. Yes. I ain't got none for you. Because that's what he said. He he, he, he spoke to the tree because he yeah. already got an answer for the tree. It wasn't verbal. It was, look, you come look of a sudden, I ain't got it for you. Yeah. He spoke to it. You'll never get it anybody else either. That, that's what I got for you. You ain't you, you were supposed to have figs yeah. on this tree. And you don't have none. You telling me you don't have any. I'm telling yeah. you, nobody will ever eat from you. Well see, this is what this is what I get out of that. This is what's so awesome about this. Jesus created that tree. Come on now. He said that look, tree look. was designed to do a specific thing. Yes, sir. It, was, it had the sign that said it was It ready. had a purpose. Yeah. It had a purpose. And when it did not serve its purpose, Jesus spoke to it. Yeah. Well, if you're not going to feed me, which I designed you to do, Come on, then now. nobody's going to. If you can't feed me, ain't nobody eating. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Even if you, if you just ain't in season right now when you're supposed to be, you you something wrong with you. You're out of order. There you go. He answered. He said he answered the tree, didn't he? he yeah. Said, that means that tree said something to him. And we're talking about in life, right? Uh, and yeah, it said I, something to the disciples as well. Exactly. Because when they came back, the tree was yeah. withered away. It spoke yeah. to the disciples. Yeah. And I think that's what we're talking about on daily faith. Because see, that is something that came up that day. 
And that's why I'm trying to say, I think that this will have that mindset, daily faith. You know what I mean? You live by faith. And that means you have that faith daily. And, and one thing about living daily faith is you're exercising it, you know, every day, right? That's why I even said about the, the initial part of the Lord's prayer, give us this day. He's telling us that in, in this other scripture said tomorrow is not promised. I need you to exercise today. I need you to walk in the kingdom today. Now, I think I want you to walk in the kingdom tomorrow and the next day. But I like when you wake up, when you're praying to me, whether you wake up or in the middle of the day, or whatever, give us this day. Does that make sense? Amen. But the mindset is to be able to, to help someone, to include ourselves, is to say, today, to <coughs> live by faith. <coughs> Speak to the mountain. I'm gonna speak to the mountain of sickness. I'm gonna speak to the mountain of death. I'm gonna speak to the mountain of whatever issue that's going on in my life. I'm gonna speak to it and take authority of it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying is that I, the, the part of me is about, and like you know, Paul said, I die daily. I'm moving away from myself. And you know what you talked about last Sunday, Sunday before, we talked about, I want rest in him. I'm gonna cease working in my own ability and start resting, you know, allow his power to manifest in my life daily. But I think if we sit there and try to depend on him to come when I need him, then I'm not exercising my faith. And and one of the things I'm talking about the fact is daily, and I'm gonna show you some scripture in a minute was Jesus said, My father's always with me, my father always hear me. On that Amen. talk, we never heard all that walk through Jesus. We even doing his being crucified, we didn't hear nothing complain until God because of what he did putting the sins of the world on him turned his back on him and guess what you know what you know he said my God you, you said let's speak it in my God my God why have you forsaken me yeah are you with me other words God wants to be in our life daily. Now, and, and the go, let's get a couple of scriptures in just to, for the people that's listening. We get a couple of scriptures in to, to just clarify that. You, you see that? Then, brother, give us these scriptures that backs up the fact that we live by faith. Okay, here, back of two, four. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yes, sir. Romans 1 17. <clears throat> For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. Yes, That's sir. That's referring back to back and forth. Come on, then. Come on. Brother. Galatians 2 20. I am crucified with Christ. Amen. Yes. Nevertheless, I live. Yes. Not I, uh -huh. but Christ liveth in me. Uh -huh. And the life which I now live yes, in, in the flesh, uh -huh. I live by the faith of the Son of God Woo! who loved me Come on. and gave himself for, gave me. himself for me. Glory to God. Woo! That's awesome. I got to read that again. Come on. I, I gotta write that down. I, I got to, I'm gonna have to meditate on that. Ooh, I like that too. Let me say, I'm crucified with Christ. Paul said, I died daily. I, I'm trying to move myself out of the way. <laughs> I'm gonna move myself out of the way. Nevertheless, I'm yes. here. Yes. Woo! Galatians 3 11. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. Come on now. It is evident. It is evident. 
for the just what? shall live by faith. Come on, bro. Hebrews 10, 38. Now the just shall live by faith. What? But if any man draw back, what? my soul shall not have no pleasure in what? him. Oh, Lord. So, so in other words, I, 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 he, he is trying to tell us that if you don't live by faith, if, if you, you draw back by faith, then, then, then I, I, he has no pleasure in that. Right? He...